Hello, I'm Maximo Trinidad, Technology Evangelist for Sapient Technologies, Inc. Welcome to this instructional video. Following the recent two-part series blog post on working with remote system, this video will be covering part two of that series, PowerShell Remoting. This video assumes that you already have set up and have some basic knowledge on how to use PowerShell Remoting. Now we're going to take that knowledge and we're going to use it with PowerShell Studio. Having a PowerShell profile can be useful when working with remote systems. In the profile, you can have custom functions, import modules, and or PowerShell snap-ins to be loaded when PowerShell opens and makes it available during the PowerShell session. So on the server, I'm going to set up a PowerShell profile to be used by all users and all hosts. This way, it's easy to customize when working with PowerShell. For this, I'm going to use the PowerShell Studio Remote Console option to create the PowerShell profile.ps1 file on my user home directory using the following one-liner. Then, using Remote Desktop Client, I'm going to test that the profile loads when opening the PowerShell console. Next step is optional, but nice to have it configured for PowerShell Remote Session. This will load the PowerShell profile I just created when using PowerShell Remoting. As you can see, changes to the PowerShell Remoting Session configuration will result in restarting the WinRM service. Now, to make sure the configured startup profile loads when remoting to a system, I need to connect selecting PowerShell Studio, PowerShell 64-bit or 32-bit console, and not the remote console option, then use the following one-liner. On this one-liner, I'm including the PowerShell Remote Session configuration name, which will execute the startup script I previously registered. Please notice you can only use the startup script when opening a PowerShell console. PowerShell Studio Remote Console option is for basic remoting and will not use the startup script that was previously set using the register PS session configuration command line. Now, if there's a need to work on a specific remote system, I can add the Enter PS Session one-liner to the PowerShell Studio console list in the following way.
opening the option menu go to console then you can add the new line below the existing ones Just make sure after adding the new console, OSS Studio needs to be restarted in order to make the change permanent. As you can see, I have options for OSS Studio to continue working with remote systems, and at the same time, use the remote system exported cache to create script solutions. Finally, my development environment is ready to work using my exported cache modules and staying connected with my remote system while creating my scripts. Thank you for viewing our short instructional video. For more information, don't forget to visit our Sapien Technologies site at sapien.com. Thank you very much. For more information, feel free to go online and visit our Sapien Technologies products, information center, and blog pages. Thank you very much.